Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, it's time to sort out my cockroaches that I got from the British Tarantula Show. And as you know, I've got these four tubs here for £10. I have a heat mat, which I'll put on the back of the enclosure here on the outside. I have a dish here, which I'm going to be using chicken feed or chicken pellets. I use uh, lettuce for moisture. You can use bug gel, but uh, bug gel does go very mouldy very quickly because the heat is very warm from the heat mat. And here is the enclosure here, which you've seen many times before. So it's fairly easy, guys. Just get some egg crates, uh, put them up vertically like that. So what you do is you just put your lettuce in for the moisture. Put the dish in for the for the pellets. Just get my my spoon. That manages the pellets to go on the floor. Well, I'm sure that the roaches will eat it up. And that's about it, guys. It's very very simple. So the last thing to do is to. Put the roaches in their new enclosure and we'll switch the heat mat on and put it on the outside of the enclosure so guys first tub i'll keep these tubs because they're good for um, using the slings just drop them in and um, we can use the egg crates from the actual tubs as well they've probably been laying out because yeah you can just see one just there, it's uh, just giving birth. They don't give birth live, they give birth to actual eggs. So, I think there's around about uh, 200 in here, which was, you know, the cheapest I've ever seen red runner roaches. Yeah, there's a, a new thicker just there, guys. Just like little red eggs. And now hatching about six weeks or so. So let's just pop that egg in. Keep all these tubs. And the tub number three. Mm, there's a few that have died there. As you know, guys, males have wings and females don't. And the last tub. They've put a bit of uh, apple inside, which you can put some apple in. And there we go, guys. Nice and uh, nice and easy. And uh, I'll use these crates that were inside the actual tubs. I'll use them and then I'll take them out after a week or so because they are looking a little bit grubby. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. So that's my little setup. And I'm going to leave him here now. For about three months, I'm not going to touch them at all. Maybe I'll probably take that apple out because it is looking a little bit dry. So I'll take this apple out. That was a, a female there. And that's uh, about it really, guys. It's uh, fairly simple. Nothing to it really. So yeah, I'll let them... I'll let them breed uh, for three months or so. I'm not going to touch them at all. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. And thanks for watching, everyone.